it has become habitual that accounting officers appearing before the Watchdog Public Accounts Committee of Parliament do not have squeaky clean images. These senior officials have become a subject of a cycle of probes before Public Accounts Committee. In the Auditor General's report of 2012 of 2013, Johnny Mwanga singled out 34 government ministries and departments that misallocated about 100 billion shillings without consent from Parliament and Secretary Treasury. It's about manipulating the budget process. So the sectors have perfected the art of coming to Parliament. You get us to appropriate in an act. We give you the money and you go and you use up the powers of Parliament. This mischarge or reallocation without warrant and authority might be even in a trillion. Because this is just sampling. According to the report currently under scrutiny by the lawmakers, Prime Minister's office is the biggest offender with about 28 billion shillings and the Health Ministry, 13 billion shillings, the Energy Ministry, 9 billion shillings, the Parliamentary Commission allocated 4 billion shillings, Ministry of Energy, 9 billion shillings. The budgeting loses meaning. I'm chairing the audit committee, subcommittee of the commission. I think we are also going to check ourselves and see why things have happened like that in the past. This week, a team of technocrats from the Public Service Ministry came under fire over misallocating 2.2 billion shillings in the ministry. So what happens in that circumstance is, is that we reprioritize. It's a habit and something that cannot be tolerated. There are some activities which come and they are very, very urgent. Urgent to the tune of 2 billion plus. And that's totally unacceptable. So one, we hold you responsible, accounting officer and your team, for usurping the powers of parliament and undermining the appropriation act. But the Shadow Minister for Finance, Geoffrey Kanya, says accounting officers will have to shoulder the burden once the Public Finance Amendment Bill is passed into law. Is that any accounting officer or any of government officials who involves in use of public fund contrary to a laid down procedure by parliament, by the laws of Uganda or by the appointing authority should be relieved of his duty immediately while investigation goes on. That is an offense. And I think the only way we can do uh, to bring to these accounting officers to book will be to make sure that they are held personally accountable. The Auditor General's report observes that without financial prudence, graft will continue to rear its ugly head. The World Bank estimates that Uganda loses about 500 to 700 billion shillings annually in corruption-related activities. Jingo Francis, NTV Weekend Edition.